Hello and welcome to this video. We are continuing our tutorial series and in today's tutorial we are going to discuss to power query function that is date dot start month and date dot end month. Okay, so let's begin. So that is start of the month and end of the month. So we have this table where we have a date and for this particular date we are trying to find start of the month and end of the month. So very simple stuff what we are going to do is we are going to add a custom column from the custom column and we say date dot start of month that's what we need and we are going to take year month into it there's no second parameter i tried and check it checking it out like is there any other parameter which we can use there's no second parameter for this one so let's add this and you can see this is the month start date we got this is uh 12 31 so we got uh, 12 1 and this is 7 so we got 1 again so all the dates are started so now if you need a month start uh, in power query you can actually go ahead and do it but it's only standard ones okay and then uh, we are going to create a one more column where we are going to say dead dot end of month date dot end of month again we are going to take our year month column this is basically a date and this uh, second parameter is nothing let's first of all create this okay so now you are getting the end month and date so you got the start of the month you got the end of the month and we can do plus minus some days you can add some days so if you want to move around with that uh, but uh, this function does not have parameter start date or end date doesn't seem to have we can actually go ahead and try out let's say if i can give some parameter out here so it's not allowing me to give the parameter so i have to revert it back okay so try these functions out do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get the notification for new videos uh, thanks for watching this video thank you